Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I realized while I already started the process that I didn't do an intro, so today we're doing a bookshelf reorganization declutter. I got a new bookshelf in December and so I'll show you guys like the before b-roll but I already put some books on there just to kind of get it situated and looking nice and not empty. But I wanted to do a full reorganization, see if I can get all of my books on these shelves because I've been having boxes of books <laughs> sitting right behind me because I just ran out of space. So that's what we're going to do today. I don't have many ideas of how I'm going to organize everything. We're just going to go with it, see what vibes I'm feeling. I'm thinking of a TBR bookshelf a classics and favorites bookshelf and then this bookshelf to be somewhat sorted by genre because I've said this before I've got books behind books in front of books stacked on books it's not the most aesthetic but it is the most practical so that's what we're going for <laughs> my other two shelves are going to be a little bit more aesthetic but this one is always not <laughs> I'm already overwhelmed. That's just how it is. Every single time. Every time. There's not been one bookshelf reorganization that I've done where I haven't had one moment. More like several moments where I'm like, why did I do this? Why? Got lots of decisions to make. I think first I'm going to do a sweep through and do a little declutter and unhaul. I've tried grouping piles of books by genre and then I'm going to see how I want to reorganize my bookshelves. This one I didn't really touch because I think I might keep it the way it is. I want I think this shelf to be my soon TBR shelf, books that I want to read within the next six months. And then I want to have maybe this shelf that you can't see that's like on the end here to be like favorite authors mixed with classics. And then my big shelf, I'm going to try organizing it by genre of the remainder books because most of them are going to fit on there 
and then I have a box of books that I have on the side that I want to also make sure I can get all of them onto the bookshelf so I have no boxes of books laying around which will be hard and then I have two boxes already of books I want to either sell, donate, or give to friends and that's from my last reorganization which was like six months ago I think. Spice decided that this shelf is her new spot. <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> Again. Again. It's the next day because it was starting to get dark, so I wanted to show you in daylight the turn of events of how this bookshelf and the other two turned out. I was able to fit everything, just barely, and it ended up being a mishmash of genres. There are some rhyme or reason in some areas, but for the most part it ended up just being wherever I could fit everything. So first on the top shelf, I wanted it to be like a fantasy, romance, and TBR shelf, but it kind of became a mess. So here we have like all the hardcovers that I have for fantasy. We have the Once Upon a Broken Heart series, the Divine Rivals uh, Letters of Enchantment series, and then the Empyrean series, I think that's what this is called. And then back there... If you can see, we have the Akotar series and then some fantasies up top. Here we have the Throne of Glass series, aka what I have of the series. I don't have everything yet. Once I have everything, it'll probably take up the rest of this shelf, if not more. I think the last books are pretty thick. Then here we have some romances. These three are like some favorites. Legends and Lattes, it's just, yeah. 
Then we have back there, we have a couple series and the secret history. Then I know there is the Game of Thrones series and just a random book on my TBR. Then we have the Chestnut Spring series, which is like one of my favorite romance series. And then here and behind it are a bunch of TBR books. Moving on to shelf two, this is kind of different, kind of similar. We have my link, little uh, penguin collection here of the 80 little black classics. In front, I have a bunch of prints. These two are from Carolyn Marie Reads, her Etsy shop. And then this one is from Intelligent Change. Then I have my Hanya Yanagihara books, a little decor skull from Mexico. Back there, I have classics and some romances. Then we've got Spy Family here because I want to uh, read this this year. I've only read the first one. Then back there, I have more fiction and romance that I have read. Here is kind of just tall books. <laughs> so it's really random, like War and Peace, Short Story Collection, The Goldfinch, The Shadows, My Dark Vanessa. Here is kind of just very random assortment of books. And behind this is also mostly books I have read because I won't need to reach them. Then we go down to this shelf, which is also a mishmash of stuff. And you can see my shelf is really dipping in. Here and behind here are a bunch of nonfiction books. These are ones that either I have read or want to read. Here we have just a bunch of different random fiction books. The Hate You Give, uh, The Cabin at the End of the World, Room, some Margaret Atwood, The Perfect Spy. Then here is kind of like the, again, longer um, or like taller fiction books. So we've got The Push, uh, Outlander, The True Love Experiment, Malibu Rising. Here are some hardcovers that I loved. And then R.F. Kuang. And then I've got The Passenger by Cormac McCarthy here. A random assortment of books up there. And then behind there are like my mass market paperback books and then more fiction and more more books behind <laughs> and then lastly this shelf didn't change a lot it is a lot of series that i own and behind here are also series so we've got like aragon this random collection of i think canadian books all the boys i've loved before the anne of green gable series some books by craig johnson here i have some stephen king Buffy the Vampire Slayer, some Alice Munro that isn't the same as like other collections I have of hers, Agatha Christie, Eden Robinson, then some random nonfiction. A lot of these, well, like half of these aren't mine, half of these are my boyfriend's, half of these are mine. And then back there is, I think, a bunch of my boyfriend's books that he's read. And then lastly, the shelf, <laughs> you don't really see it that much, if at all, in my, uh, videos. It's just a bunch of non-fictions. Most of these are like cookbooks, then my cat books, and then behind here and in front is the almost entire Attack on Titan series, Chainsaw Man series, and then a random Eckhart Tolle book. And that is that. This is this bookshelf. I don't even know how many books this is. Probably easily 300. 400? I don't know. Moving on, we have the new bookshelf that I have that is the matching set to the other one. So here on top, I have some of my Shakespeare in the Folger editions, and I have a couple more that are coming, so I have to kind of maneuver this once these arrive. Then I've got War and Peace and Childhood, Boyhood, and Youth by Leo Tolstoy. Then I have my um, Macmillan editions. Bunch of different classics, a fake plant, a little jelly cat <laughs> keychain. Then down here, we've got my penguin cloth bound editions that are like somewhat in color order. And then I have a random one that's not a part of the editions, but it kind of looks like it. I had our empty space here, so probably one of my favorite shelves. I love the way this looks. Moving down, we have my bookshelf that holds most of my 24 in 2024 and then a couple extras. So that's this shelf. 
Then down here is like a TBR shelf of a lot of new books that I have. So I've got, this is like the romance section. This is kind of like the literary fiction-ish section. Except I have read Normal People and Never Let Me Go. A candle. And then back here is just an assortment of different fictions and nonfiction. And then down here, we've got in front, again, just kind of books on my TBR. Then back here, I have a bunch of fantasy series that I want to read. Then in the back corner there, I've got all my John Steinbeck books. And then I have here Marcel Proust's In Search of Lost Time, like the whole collection. I have this little bin here that just holds the books that I read this month. So I have them ready for reach for my end of month wrap up. And lastly, we have this shelf. So up on top, we have some puffins like box set I have, a little empty jar with the Pop Funko on top, some of my Penguin English libraries, then some more puffins classics with a postcard and my pretty plant that needs to be watered very soon. Then here we have like a favorite shelf. This did not change at all. We've got Mitch Album, Haruki Murakami, and Frederick Bachman books. Moving down, we have my Penguin Classics shelf. I actually have more than what is on here, but I'm reading them right now. So once I have finished them, we will probably switch some over to make a stack this way. But right now it's in alphabetical order and it's really annoying that these editions aren't the same but <laughs> what can you do and then lastly this shelf is mostly classics and just different editions so we've got like the modern library here then we've got some vintage oxford oxford world classics then some more penguin modern classics some tony morrison the best book ever <laughs> and then back here we have, again, just lots and lots of classics. And then lastly, this shelf is, again, hasn't really changed. I have to set this up. I haven't made it yet. And then I have these that I still have to do from Christmas. But these are just some other cookbooks that I have. And then this bin holds an assortment of different things some headphones, some mics that I use for recording, some notebooks. This is like a book embosser that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. Lots of sticky tabs and it, this empty jar that I'm gonna do something with. So thank you all for spending this time with me to reorganize all my bookshelves and on haul will be coming. It's not that big, but I think it would be fun to show you guys what books I did get rid of and yeah so hopefully i won't have to do this anytime soon but we'll see because i have basically no space for new books so hopefully as i read all of these books that i own a couple will get rid of so we'll make space for new ones if not i'm gonna have to buy another shelf and fit it somewhere <laughs> i don't know where but fit it somewhere thank you all for spending this time with me i hope you had fun and enjoyed watching and i will see you all in my next video happy reading bye lazy sunday mornings hiding under covers i don't mind staying in with you play your favorite movie laying right beside me i don't mind dwelling.